So the aftermath of the first face-to-face -face meeting between presumptive nominee Donald Trump and House Speaker Paul Ryan today, with the Speaker reacting more now to their sit-down. Are you endorsing Donald Trump? If you're not, what is holding you back? And do you really have a choice? I mean, what, you've ruled out voting for Hillary Clinton, the, endorsing her. The process of, of unifying the Republican Party, which just finished a primary about a week ago, perhaps one of the most divisive primaries in memory, takes some time. Joining me now, Tim Phillips, president of Americans for Prosperity. That's a grassroots organization funded by the Koch brothers. Great to have you back on The Real Story. Absolutely. Does Paul Ryan need to endorse Donald Trump? I think the onus actually is on Mr. Trump to earn the endorsement of Paul Ryan and, and folks across Why? the conservative spectrum because he has not put forward, Gretchen, a conservative free market agenda. I think about the minimum wage issue, tax increases, government spending, entitlement reform. He does need to lay out an agenda that says, I'm actually going to present a difference uh, to Hillary Clinton if I'm elected. That's important for him to do, for any nominee to do. Okay, so your organization is affiliated with the Koch brothers, and a couple of weeks ago, Charles Koch said this about possibly, possibly supporting Hillary Clinton. Listen to this. So is it possible another Clinton could be better than a, another Republican it's the next possible. time around? It's possible. You couldn't see yourself supporting Hillary Clinton, could you? Well, uh, the, her... her we would have to believe her actions would be quite different than her rhetoric. Let me put it that way. So that was big news when that happened. Uh, still the same feeling, do you think, now? I, I would never presume to speak for Mr. Koch. I can just say at Americans for Prosperity, we do want to see two things. One, a genuinely free market agenda from Mr. Trump. He needs to lay that out and show he's going to make a difference. And secondly, a tone that is actually going to be forward-looking. So are you in the group of the hashtag never Trump people then? No. We've said that we're uh, not involved at this point in the presidential. We have been in the past, like in 2012. We advocated the defeat of Barack Obama. Uh, but we're pausing right now and, and looking to see uh, what he's going to do and how it's going to develop. Okay. I want to talk about something else that's big news in your organization today. So the Koch brothers launching an aggressive advocacy effort now to defeat an incumbent Republican member of the House of Representatives, Renee Elmers, claiming the North Carolina Congresswoman has done nothing to follow through on some of her promises, consistently voting for corporate welfare and more spending. Take a look at her AFP report card. This is put out by your organization. She scored the lowest when it came to budget and spending and banking and finance. Wow. So this is the first time that you have, is it the first time that you've attacked within, under the tent of Republicans? It is. Uh, we've said repeatedly we're going to hold both parties accountable. We've done so more with Democrats at the federal level, no question. But we have consistently asked these Republican House members to rein in spending and to rein in government cronyism, this export-import bank, which is just cronyism, Gretchen. She's refused to do that, not kept her campaign promises, and we felt we needed to take a stand, and, and so we're doing so in North Carolina. So she's the first one. I'm sure this is going to come as a surprise to her. Uh, are there more to come? It's something we're considering. We have said repeatedly we're serious about holding both parties accountable. House Republicans, they've done some good things, absolutely. But they have the largest majority since 1928. It really is time for them to stand up, especially on government spending and cronyism. So some people might be listening to this and think, wow, why wouldn't you spend your time and your money attacking Hillary Clinton? We've spent a great deal of money and time over the years of going after and opposing Barack Obama's policies and Hillary Clinton as well. But it's important to note, we're not an appendage of a political party. We're genuinely an issues group on economic and prosperity issues, and that's what we focus on. Uh, we do seek to hold both parties accountable. We've certainly done our fair share of that with Democrats. All right. Before I let you go, would you be in favor of a third party, more conservative candidate in the presidential race? We really haven't talked about a third party. I think our system doesn't seem to reward third parties. Yep, that's the way it looks right now, right? Tim Phillips, thank you. you bet.